we will explain V2K, an in-brain voice weapon used in mass stalking crime. In-brain sound weapons, also called in-brain sound devices, have been commercialized by the United States Army as non-lethal weapons such as, the abbreviation is V2K. It features an electromagnetic wave nerve stimulation device that transmits sound microwaves into the cranium of humans and animals by microwave irradiation of pulse waveforms. It is also a silent sound device that can transmit sound into the cranium of humans and animals, also known as inaudible sound devices. The sound transmitted by the in-brain sound device becomes a sound that can be heard only to the object irradiated with the microwave and can be an audio message that acts on the subconscious. If this is due to the Frey effect, the irradiation from the microwave source anyone can hear it on the straight line connecting the subjects, and can not transmit the sound concealed only to the subjects. However, in the Frey effect, it has been confirmed that a sound like clicking sound can be heard by the head irradiated with pulsed microwaves, but it is not clear whether clear speech can be transmitted or not. There are studies that it was possible to transmit when the numbers from 1 to 10 were transmitted as speech in advance. Even in this case, it is research that the recipient hardly knew what they are saying if they go ahead without knowing what to transmit. This weapon applies the physically proven microwave hearing effect, Frey effect. By the way, there is a wireless communication system that modulates a carrier wave with a voice signal as an element technology required for this weapon and as such a wireless communication system, pulse-modulated microwave communication is reported to the research group of the Institute of Electronics, Information and Communication Engineers Ing. Also, with regard to pointing out that anyone can hear from the microwave source on the straight line connecting the subject of irradiation, instead of irradiating the head of the subject with one microwave beam, two radio beams are used for the subject. A method of irradiating the head has been proposed in the Institute of Electronics, Information and Communication Engineers. While the frequencies of the radio wave beams are all higher than the frequency at which the microwave hearing effect appears, in the region where the two radio wave beams intersect, the frequency is down converted to a frequency at which the microwave hearing effect appears. It is a photograph of the real thing. Thank you for your viewing. If you have a favorite, Please subscribe to the channel.